Okay, so Jerome Powell is done. Um, we did have a Jerome Powell press conference just now, and he is now done. Uh, we're looking at everything else. Gold spiking up today. I know Bitcoin was dipping down a little bit today, but it looks like it rebounded. Actually, Bitcoin green today. Bitcoin slightly green. Yesterday was the bad day for Bitcoin, right? Uh, the first actually was the worst. April 1st was the worst day. So Bitcoin pulling back a little bit. Um, so the ETF flows is slowing down. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a tough time for Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is still very strong. Like the fact that we're testing lifetime highs over the last month or two is, is very, very strong. And I think what time has shown for crypto is that this is nothing like this is insignificant, I think. Uh, and we'll, again, we're approaching the halving, though. So do you think that could have something to do with it? Yeah. So uh, for anybody that has a study, they have been from previous cycles. Uh, Bitcoin historically has done uh, uh, retracement right before the the halving. It's, it it has done the same thing on on all their on, on all other um, cycles and uh, yeah, we're just uh, in a correction after uh, coming from thirty k basically. Right. I mean, yeah, it was a uh, uh, thirty to seventy in in matter of. Uh, a couple months, so sure. yeah, it, it, Bitcoin pretty much did uh, uh, what six consecutive months of uh, green action. So right, let's look yeah, at a monthly it, chart. It, it definitely, definitely needs some uh, slow down. Yeah, so Bitcoin had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven consecutive yeah. uh, months of green. So seven months of almost a year of green months for Bitcoin. So, uh, I mean, it's not unreasonable to get a pullback. We broke lifetime highs. I think it, it's perfectly reasonable to expect a pullback after crazy um, runs like this. You know what I mean? Perfectly reasonable, I think. Um, yeah. All that's been fueled from uh, the uh, ETFs. Right. Also, something to uh, 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 noticeable is that uh, Bitcoin has never hit all-time highs uh, before the halving. So, right. We this this um, uh, a bull market started like uh, a little bit earlier than usual. The 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 money coming from ETFs has been super crazy, but yeah, obviously it has slowed down as it reached these levels. Right, for sure. Um, and yeah, you can see the first post here. We're going to talk about some crypto news. And again, this is by Rekt Mondo. Uh, we're talking about the latest crypto news. Bitcoin hitting 66K. It's currently at 66K ETH at 3315, Solana at 188. Some of the top 100 gainers are ENA, FLR, BGB, and ICP. Bitcoin hitting almost 65K, then rebound. Solana outperforms. Government sending $2 billion in Bitcoin to Coinbase to sell. Funding rates stay low after the sweep lower. ETFC small inflow, ARC outflow more than GBTC. Wormhole W launches at 15B. 15 billion FDV Bitcoin inflection point as it follows the rates are gold. Gold and Bitcoin are very correlated over the last year. Uh, people are expecting slower ETF volumes this month, according to Bloomberg. And Bitcoin and 2x and 3x leveraged ETFs launched yesterday. Bitcoin ETFs now half the size of gold. Bitcoin algos in Asia blame for swings on the ETF flows. Paradigm set to raise 750 million fund. ETH earnings tripled in quarter one versus quarter four. ENA up 60% to 15 billion amid high revenue projections. KuCoin assets down 22% in weeks. Lido bug stops 24 million Solana withdrawals. In macro and general markets the nasdaq is at 16.2k uh gold is at 2290 stock futures are lower another week week but uh markets are bouncing back a little bit today eurozone cpi is down more than expected turkey inflation now up to 68.5 percent gold is up through another lifetime high tesla misses sales estimates down 33 percent year to date with earnings coming up this month um you know a bunch of other political stuff. Billionaire funded 175 million Trump appeal bonds. Taiwan sees strongest earthquake in 25 years this morning. Uh, and in NFTs, we got Hobbs, Mew, Bowden, TREMP, SC. Hot NFTs are Cyber V, Runestone, Matrix, and Cuckoo. Meme coin market cap hits cycle peak of 50 billion. Various coins related to Ansem see huge volume. Uh, Cat and Politify memes lead bounce. Mew hits 800 million all time highs and more listings. Capitulation of alts into memes only beginning, uh, which is Kang. Um, and then a bunch of other news in NFTs as well, including. Wait, I lost my page. Where'd it go? Uh, let me find it. There it is. Um, 
Penguins Layer 3 chain launches on base. Tensor S3 ends with treasury boxes. CryptoPunk loan market increasing precarious. Munchables refund coming in the next two days. OpenSea integrates new token to invoice royalties. And again, this is all the crypto news. This is by a guy named Rekt Mondo, R-E-K-T-M-A-N-D-O on Twitter. Uh, posting all the crypto news, so we appreciate that. Uh, we got Eric ba Balkunas saying, talking about Bitcoin ETFs. He said the first ever 2X and two, minus 2X spot Bitcoin ETFs hit the market today from ProShares, BITU, and SBIT. So SBIT is the short one, correct? Yeah, looks like that. Um, SBIT ticker sh uh, could have been better. BITX is 2X, but it tracks futures, and BITI is minus 1X, but also futures. Fee of 95 BPS on both haven't traded too much so far under 1 million. Huh. It's slowing down, but uh, here we yeah. go with the uh, leverage. Sure. Which I'm sure uh, uh, this one will be used a lot in this uh, next phase of the uh, uh, bull market. Right, for sure. Um, and yeah, we can see the next post here talking about Bitcoin ETFs traded. Uh, 111 million in March, 3x more than February. So look at the March increase. Huh. Yeah, so it's, it's <clears throat> the demand keeps uh, uh, growing. So we'll see how uh, those that demand keeps going the next couple of months. Sure. Right, I mean, sure. if 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 it stays at this rate and the supply goes uh, lower thanks to the halving, uh, we should definitely see some uh, changes in price, no doubt. The right. uh, there's still, I mean. Most of the uh, sell pressure right now is coming from uh, uh, GBTC from Grayscale. Um, sure. the people still like uh, selling their Grayscale uh, 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 shares uh, because yes. uh, they they have the highest fees in the entire market right now. So, right, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting time. Let me see. So, and then we have the W airdrop claim is live currently. Be sure. I heard some people talking about this. Uh, about W. So W is the current airdrop. Yeah, it's so a wormhole. Wormhole. Yeah, wormhole is uh, probably the biggest airdrop we've seen uh, um, uh, today. Yeah, look at it spiking up today, up to one point five seven dollars. So, yeah, interesting. it's uh, sketchy. Uh, no, it's not sketchy. It's just uh, too high. Fifteen billion uh, uh, fully uh, diluted market cap is is pretty high for a new token, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, wormhole. What it does is that uh, it helps you uh, uh, cross chain uh, different assets. You know, I mean. Uh, assets on Ethereum cannot be traded on on, on on Solana or Solana assets cannot be traded on, on Ethereum. So this is like a, a way for uh, people to uh, cross chain some some of these uh, 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 layer ones and and, and, and and able to like uh, each asset to talk with each other basically. Because yeah. each chain is just, it, it has its own uh, uh, line of code and it's a whole different thing uh, uh, and uh, uh, a, a, a different type of tech. Sure. Uh, 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 so so the, the, they cannot really like uh, coexist with each other, but a wormhole is like one of those solutions that uh, uh, people are using to to move assets in, 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 mm -hmm. in different chains. Interesting. Yeah, and looking at the next post here, uh, token terminals, most valuable financial services companies in the world, aggregate market cap, 13.35 trillion. Coinbase ranks 52. How many of these firms are building their own blockchains at the moment? You can see this list here. Yeah, and, I think and the, a lot of them. You can see that uh, Bitcoin is uh, the uh, top three combined. Here, yeah, look at that. Which yeah, is like so Visa, Mastercard, and uh, uh, JP Morgan. JP Morgan, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, and, and again, another thing to talk about this year is meme coins. Meme coins, uh, top eight most profitable crypto narratives in 2024. Meme coins up 1,300%, over 1,300%. AI is up 222%. DeFi at 99%. Uh, layer one gaming, layer two, stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised. Meme coins have been back this year. Like that's one of the crazier narratives in crypto is meme coins have just been back. Um, it's been fun to watch. Yeah. yeah, the the altcoin casino man uh, is yeah. just going crazy. Um, it it is it's, it's uh, uh 
a, a, a bit weird uh, on this cycle because usually we see Bitcoin then a lot of flows kind of go to a, a, a large call large cap alts and then some mid and then of course the the meme assets or chat coins uh, some people call it right. but uh, everybody has been just gambling so much on these uh, meme assets sure. I think uh, there are thousands of new uh tokens being launched every day and of course many of those immediately go to zero but the activity yeah. on meme assets is just super super crazy yeah and sure. and uh, of course uh the dog the, with hat like yeah dog with hat is i think is the this cycle of new uh shift but again, the, over the past week, we've seen a lot of activity on 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 cat coins. Uh, there is a lot of uh, 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 of cat coins that uh, have reached some crazy numbers. Um, there is not only one, but three different cat coins that reach uh, more than three hundred million market cap. Yeah. Like a cat USDT. I see one of them. There's a bunch of them. I'm sure. There is a uh, one is a uh, uh, M E O W mu. Meow. <laughs> yeah. Look at this one. This one was spiked. Corrected a little bit, but did spike. So interesting. Um, fun time, man. Uh, honestly, that that's part of the Bitcoin bull runs and the crypto bull runs is when these meme coins start taking off. So I think it's yeah. good for crypto, even though I think there's some sketchy ones for sure that uh, are going to cause traders to lose so boatloads of money. So just but, be careful. Yeah, again, this is not uh, investment. This is just pure speculation and, and just pure gambling. But mm -hmm. I, I've been saying this, that uh, 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 meme assets shouldn't be ignored because like, they can definitely... Uh, Go. Boot, bootstrap, yeah, bootstrap yeah. your uh, portfolios and give you a huge gate. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, looking at this next post, one of these apps is not like the other. They're talking about Phantom down here, number 16. You know, so interesting crypto related, number 16 on the uh, app store. So Yeah, I'm so Fan Phantom is the uh, number one uh, Solana uh, uh, wallet. Uh, of course, uh, that's the number one uh, uh, wallet being used right now for to access uh all these uh, meme tokens, sure. you know, you uh, people are trading uh, these meme tokens over Jupiter in uh, on Phantom and uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, like uh, or, or like we saw the other time, um, uh, Bird Eye, which is a uh, uh, and a uh, Dex screener, which is like some of the tools and people are using to uh, uh, spot some of these meme assets early mm -hmm. on, you know. Right. I think uh, uh, the, the 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 way to do these assets is uh, again before they get listed anywhere. If you're able to uh, buy some of these uh, tokens, then are gonna have some lasting time. Uh, if you're able to buy them before they are launched on exchanges, that's that's the that, that's what you can front run everyone. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's how they, that's how a lot of people make money. Um, Look at that Gaber Gerbox here saying 1.48 to move 2 billion of Bitcoin. The U.S. government just launched the best ever ad campaign for Bitcoin. U.S. government just moved 30,000 Bitcoin from Silk Road hack worth 2 billion to Coinbase. Uh, you can see it here. So, yeah. This is uh, kind of confusing. Why would they want to uh, sell this asset which they don't have control on? For yeah. something that they can just print on, they can just push a button and right, just right. Uh, <laughs> just like keep printing money. Yeah, they can no, print sure. infinite money and but yeah, yeah. I I I, I don't know if they uh, if they're gonna sell. This is something also that uh, it, it might be uh, um, uh, feeling the 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 bearish sentiment just because yeah, two two billion is a good. A good right. chunk. Yeah. Yeah, two bills is a lot, you know. And again, uh, I'm sure there was a lot more, but, you know. I mean, I don't know. Silk Road got huge. So, 
Interesting. How do they move Bitcoin so cheap, cheaply? Yeah, I mean, that's the argument is that it's just cheap. You know, fee was a dollar forty eight. Yeah, that's a it. lot. Of, that's a lot of money for uh, 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 such a small fee, without right. a doubt. So yeah, yeah sure. that's that's a that's good propaganda for 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 Bitcoin and crypto. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of stablecoin supplier breaks three billion, according to DJ News. You can see the supply here over three bill three billion eighty five million three hundred eleven thousand nine hundred ninety six is the number um so interesting yes yeah, i started to see that there is more and more uh, uh flows of new stable coins all over crypto so that means uh there is more and more uh new money entering the market that which is uh, a a positive a positive yeah. sign for for the entire uh space for sure um, and then Andrew Kang saying almost all alter up big against Bitcoin the last few months, expecting Bitcoin to ETH to mostly range the next few weeks as volatility continues uh, to compress with institutionalization of the majors. I still expect significant returns to the alt space, but mostly confined to meme coins as the rate of new money coming into crypto slows. It is in the phase that I expect increasingly capitulation of crypto native boomers into meme coins is what many will no longer be able to ride in the comfort of everything rising market. The risk for non submitters is memes up and other alts down. There's no better ignition for submission to a new trend than a palpable liquidity drain so bitcoin etf launch is good for bitcoin but actually much better for all coins and then that that you know andrew has been right um bitcoin dominance chart is probably what you want to look at right now right yeah uh there'll be a, a flush on 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 these dominance at some point yeah i think the the probably the better way to look at this chart is probably the weekly or monthly not much daily yeah uh, that way you have a better understanding on uh, uh, how we stand. Um, yeah, I, I believe that we're probably going to uh, reach probably a new low on, on this new cycle. Uh, but, w but we'll see. But again, you see those those red, big red uh, days? That's When that happens, that's going to be the the altcoin cycle for sure. When uh, uh, more people start buying uh, way more altcoins than bitcoin most of the intention right now is on bitcoin but as we sure. start going uh over all-time highs uh uh, uh we, we're gonna start to see a lot of flows to to through altcoins right. and that no, that's sure. that's when we start seeing the uh, many altcoins doing 10x to 100x in a really really short amount of time yeah and you can see the next post saying meme coins might be to this cycle what icos were to the 2017 run and nfts were for the 2021 run two generous views they're a more honest version of icos and they're a more dem democratic version of nfts here's why uh, again this is camilla russo saying this she said quote they're a more honest version of icos which is uh, a crypto's version of an ipo initial coin offering uh in the ico era there was this one hilarious token called useless ethereum token the website is still up and it says the U uet ico transparently offers investors no value so there will be no expectation of gains you're going to uh wait i lost my place you're going to give some random person on the internet money and they're going to take it and go buy stuff with it. Probably electronics, to be honest. Maybe even a big screen TV. Seriously, don't buy these tokens. Meme coins are a version of this. Nobody's pretending that they're any value beyond a funny name, ticker, and logo. There's no white paper, no roadmap, just vibes. And the market is assigning hundreds of millions, even billions in value to that. They're more democratic versions of NFTs is the other argument. What's different from past cycles is that it's a lot cheaper to launch these tokens and this has led to a change in dynamics. Meme coins are turning into a way for people to express their thoughts or their allegiance to something um when others buy these tokens it's like buying a ticket into a club of people who have the same worldview or just basically who want to be on the same joke I, I think it's more like a community right so when you buy some of these tokens like you see it with like amc gamestop stocks right where like a lot of these guys don't really know much about markets they're buying into this to be a part of the community and they're they're vetting new members by like direct registered shares and stuff like that in these communities and so it's just kind of like buying into a community almost sometimes with potentially the the benefit of running it up anyways and this is exactly what nfts did in 21 except meme coins are fungible tokens with much wider distribution while nfts are owned by a few thousand and the whole value is prop is what they're scarce meme coin can be owned by millions or exclusive for NFTs are exclusive, meme coins are inclusive. 
Good arguments there for sure. Uh, and again, this is Camillo Russo here. Uh, Cami Russo at Cami Russo is her uh, her thing. I, I kind of agree. I, I think a lot of people are buying into stuff like that, especially meme stocks, meme tokens for that for those exact reasons. And I think yeah, you, you don't have to do any uh, uh, extensive <laughs> research or anything. It's yeah. just vibes, man. <laughs> uh, for sure. They're just in it for the community, bro. Like uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you see a, a community start growing and, uh, and uh, yeah, you just aping into those things. <laughs> right, for sure. Uh, Bitcoin Archive posting here, new Bitcoin RSI back under 50 and as a reset level last seen when Bitcoin was 48.1K just before the ETF inflows really took off. Next leg up, potentially RSI under 50 means potential extension on the downside. So maybe that's an optimistic sign and this was posted yesterday. So... Maybe. I yes, uh, 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 something to uh, people start looking at too is the uh, uh, the fear and greed index, which uh, we've been on on greed and extreme greed for a while. I think before we start taking the next leg up, we, we should see at least uh, some some type of uh, neutral sentiment right. with the, sure. the the fear and greed index. So yeah, 100%. check it out. Yeah, and uh, J James Safart said we have increased our odds of May ETH ETF approval to 99%. This guy was right on the Bitcoin ETF approval, so May is when we're looking at a ETH ETF approval potential here. I hope he's right. I hope he's right. You know, right? Um, uh, yeah, James is uh, uh, one of the guys that's been at the uh, forefront of all the. Uh, oh wait, this is uh, April ETF. Fools. Oh no, this jerk, dude. <laughs> Let's <laughs> sorry, guys. Had to join in on the fun April Fools. That jerk, man. I was excited. I was like, "Oh, ETH, he got me." Okay, fair enough. You know, <laughs> but um, yeah, he said we're still pretty. Old. He, this is what he says. He said we're still pretty low odds. Sorry, my ETH friends, getting tagged in tweets about this filing, the ETH correlation study, and other ETH ETF hopium. I respect it all, but our odds of ETF approval in May remain a pessimistic twenty five percent. I'd go lower if I could. To be honest, there's seven weeks till deadline, and radio silence from SEC is bleak. Yeah, That's but says, this, so. this is the guy that. I pay attention to uh, see if, uh, how's the ETF sentiment, which uh, is it, it, it's, it's kind of neutral right now since the uh, uh, the SEC keeps want to say that uh, uh, Ethereum is uh, uh, a security, and right. uh, yeah, there there are now some cases going on uh, against the SEC towards this. Sure. And also their fight against Coinbase and, and, and all that. So, yeah, it was right. still to, uh, to see. But, uh, that, that, yeah, that, that's that's a, 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 a positive catalyst for uh, crypto in, uh, within the next year. Because, again, I don't I don't think it's, uh, it's not if, 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 but when it's going to happen. Just like the Bitcoin ETF. Right. For sure. Yeah, I think so. That, I think that, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. If, if yeah. Bitcoin gets an ETF, so does ETH. 100%. Yeah, exactly. It will happen. And, and this will sure. bring even more money towards uh, 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 crypto. Uh, also, I think the uh, institutions are going to uh, want that uh, that yield that uh, from uh, Ethereum staking, you know, that that's, right. uh, that's a... a a positive aspect of, of, of what crypto can do and some of these crypto assets can do. Right, for sure. No, I agree. Um, here, hold on. Let me... Yeah, I All mean, right. that's a, that's another aspect that people uh, haven't really uh, look much. Um, it's the, the, the yields that you can grab from like uh, uh, DeFi de and decentralized finance, you know, your when your assets can be productive and sure and multiply, yeah, um, for 100%. And I see uh, Lark Davis here posting crypt the crypto lark at the crypto lark saying base is seeing a huge surge in DeFi March 30th. Base just hit one bill in daily trading volume, it's overtaken all leading layer twos in terms of daily transaction count. Is base the new Solana, uh, so base B A S E. Um, yep. So, uh, uh, base have seen a lot of uh, volume uh, recently uh, because uh, their uh, gas fees uh, have now go down to as much as Sol uh, the same price as Solana. So, sure. uh, we've seen a lot of activity on on, on some of the uh, 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 base. Uh, 
projects also again a lot of meme assets are are popping up on on base sure um, so so all the, the 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 casino right now is going on 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 uh but look base doesn't have a, a token okay yeah uh, we have to uh, uh yeah make that clear base doesn't have a token but base is the layer two solution made by coinbase I believe at some point uh, they will launch a token, but um, I, I, at some point they will launch a, a, a token. But um, uh, but 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 for now, yeah, is is there? There is no token. All you have to do is just uh, start experimenting with some of the projects that are are happening on on that chain, and also. Uh, yeah, you just just trading and holding that you might be able to uh be entitled for an airdrop later on of of this token but sure yeah it's a lot of activity everybody's uh using this uh layer two solution to interact with ethereum right now right for sure uh and then key young saying people who believe usd was real money suffered 99.7 percent loss in the past decade their loss is still ongoing and here. here we go. That's that's kind of why we look at uh, all this crypto stuff too, and investments to avoid right. getting affected by the devaluation of of currency and uh, unit of account. For sure, you're always gonna start needing more and more and more currency in order to acquire assets. So, for, for sure, it's, it's oh. your choice if you want to lose your value or increase it. Yeah, and one of the ways to hedge maybe is meme coins. Cat coins surpassed two billion market cap according to Coin Gecko. Market cap is currently at two billion two hundred and twelve million eight hundred twenty six thousand five hundred ninety five. Actually, this was on March thirtieth. So, yeah, trading volume at almost seven hundred million. Um, crazy, you know, for cat coins. Again, we talked about this a little bit earlier, but just looking at this tweet. Um, and then yeah, the last I mean, tweet. The dog we've had is the one that's been still in crazy. the. The spotlight, but oh, yeah. again, that uh, over over the past uh, week, yeah, uh, COD coins been taking taking over. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and then looking at this last post here by Arthur Ox said something I wholeheartedly agree with. Most institutional investors have crypto exposure, according to uh, through venture funds, but are missing the largest segment, liquid tokens. The funds manager said we believe crypto public markets can also produce similar, if not better, venture scale returns than the private markets, especially if you employ a long term strategy. This fund is a great example of that. Since inception, this fund has returned ninety three point eighty one x on net basis, outpacing just about every venture fund over the same time period, including our first fund uh, launched July of twenty eighteen. And this is on the news of Multicoin Capital's hedge funds grown 9,281% since 2017. Investors note shows the block. So crazy gains there for sure. Crazy return or crazy growth, I guess. Is yeah, I mean, um, Multicoin uh, Capital, they they saw, uh, I think, like a 90% uh, drawdown on their on their assets uh, on the bear market. And sure. A lot of people were looking at that. I mean, it, we, of course, bear market at our, bear markets are tough for a lot of these firms and and crypto companies. Sure. But again, they now that uh, crypto is back, they're yeah. back as well. And uh, yeah, those numbers are crazy. They 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 uh, have outperformed pretty much anything out there. Sure. And uh, yeah, those those returns are are are, are pretty pretty insane. Sure. 100% man. Um, and yeah, guys, that'll be it for today. It's been a pretty long show. We, what do we do? Like uh, 30 minutes or so. So yeah, y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Thanks so much here, team. Remember, this Friday we have non-farm payrolls and unemployment data. So we do have non-farm payrolls, unemployment data this Friday. Tomorrow we have jobless claims. And so we got some stuff going on later this week. Next week we got CPI, a big thing that will probably influence crypto stocks, everything like that. So y'all check it out. Uh, and there was no um, S Yeah. We, we have – Two weeks uh, from uh, uh, the halving. So the halving, yeah, four twenty. Yep, that's probably the most important uh, uh, event for crypto this month, without a doubt. For sure, hundred percent, man. Um, and that'll be fun. We'll we'll probably try to cover that live when it happens, uh, if we can at least get a show out there around then. That'll be on Saturday, the twentieth. So we'll see what happens, guys. Y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Hey, thanks, Just Gain, for the sub. What's up, Pura? Thanks, guys. Y'all be good. We'll see you guys later. Trade safe, guys.